society today. All right, what is equality? I want you guys to really think deeply about this question for a second. Is it another individual getting the same opportunity as another individual? Is it equality among people? Is it equal treatment? And yes, those are all the correct answers. Um, what we need in society is equality among people. And we as individuals are the prompt for taking that step into equality among people. And that's how feminism comes into play. Feminism, by definition, is the advocacy of women's rights on the grounds of political, social, and economic equality to men. All right. So this pertains to you guys because a common misconception is that men can't be feminists, that it's only like a sisterhood, all of that. But actually, Dana Radcliffe is a famous um, feminist in today's society, and so is Michelle Obama. So with that, um, anyone that is for equality can consider themselves a feminist. You don't have to tell, you don't have to tell yourself as a feminist, but you can um, just support the idea. All right, so the three main points I'm going to discuss today are the problems that are so abundant in today's society and culture, and why these problems have manifested, and the solution that we can take right now. So um, the first problem I'm going to discuss is that women are getting paid less for the same amount of work as men. All right, so the simple truth about gender pay gap written by Dr. Catherine Hill discusses this. And as you can see, the big number is 79%. So women are actually getting paid 79% of what men are getting paid. So that's what it was in 2014. As you can see, there's a steady growth in progress, but it still is not 100%. So there's still a 21% gap in the amount of money that women are getting based on what men are getting for the same amount of work. All right, another problem today has to do with women of power are judged more harshly than men in the same powerful roles, and they're not taken as seriously because of their gender. All right, this is shown in things like the presidential debate. So as you can see in a USA Today article, focus on Hillary Clinton's appearance sparks criticism. Now I'm not gonna read it for you, but this is just like a little picture of that. Um, so in the article, they were talking about Hillary's hair and trivial matters such as her makeup, her lipstick, and why she would be a good president because of those things. Now, I don't know if that's, like just our society today or, or what, but I don't think that a good president, like the qualities of a good president has to do with the looks and the trivial matters and the materialistic things. And um, the same nonsense does not carry over to men in society. And this is shown, um, Terry O'Neill, he's a politician, um, he works for the House of Representatives and he said politicians of both sexes get evaluated on their looks, um, but women face closer scrutiny. So as you can see, that same um, men are not subjected to the same scrutiny as women, and this needs to be changed. And also on the same topic as that, so Hillary Clinton was actually thought of as bitchy, while Donald Trump is thought of as bossy. So that like subtle contrast definitely adds up to make a difference in the way we perceive ourselves in society and the way we perceive men and women. All right, so now I'm gonna be focusing on the causes of these specific problems. So cause number one, feminism can help, and feminism is a solution, but so many people are misinformed about the topic, leaving them with a false impression of the actual idea. So this is shown here by actress Shailene Woodley, and you guys have probably seen her in her upcoming um, movie, like Insurgent, Diversion, that like trivia. Um, so she was actually interviewed on the topic of feminism. And as you know her, she portrays these strong female leads that get cast, um, that, and she casts and like portrays like what feminism portrays, like equality, like women empowerment, yes. But she didn't even know what feminism was. So this is what she said. So Time Magazine, Catherine Hill, actually asked her, we've talked about this before, with Divergent specifically too, about being conscious of the kind of messages that you're sending to young female fans when you're taking on roles. Do you consider yourself a feminist? And her answer was no, because I love men. And I think the idea of raise women to power, take the men away from that power, is never going to work out because you need balance. Okay, Shailene Woodley, sweetheart. This is not what feminism is. This is not what it is at all. Feminism is equality among the people. It is not trying to outsmart, outrun a man. It's trying to get to the same platform as them and to get equal treatment. So this is dangerous in society because she, she has a huge fan base. She has people that are following her and want to hear what she has to say. So when she's misinformed, so are people of society. All right, another um, example of this is, another cause is min misinformation in the media. And those common misconceptions can come from the media because the media has so much control over our society today and when they leave false impressions on us, then we take that in. So this is shown here in That 70s Show, Season 7, Episode 2, Let's Spend the Night Together, director David Trainer. And in this episode, um, Eric and Donna, I don't know if you guys are familiar with the characters, but Eric and Donna go to a um, feminist rally with Donna, 
and the um, girls, the women of the feminists, are shown like as like really crazy and like bra burners, man haters. Well, I'll show you guys. because feminism is an advocate for equality and nothing else. And together we can diminish inequality by taking that step and joining movement groups and all of that. All right, so the last solution is to stop um, social media groups such as Meninism. All right, Meninism undermines what feminism stands for and is kind of a mockery about that. They're more worried about social media retweets and favorites than actually like helping better our society today. So as you can see, here's SpongeBob, and he's getting ready to like slap his hands together, and it says, when you gotta prove how wrong a hoe is. Okay, that's great. Um, when you say, would you rather kill yourself or be a feminist? This is just awful. Like, I can't believe this is actually on social media today and how this is actually promoted by people. Okay, so um, UrbanDictionary.com says, Meninism is a mockery of feminism and proves that feminists can't request equality without oppressed men making it all about themselves. Now, although this definition is rather harsh and it's, um, this is real, this is what we have to deal with and we have to become aware of this topic. Um, so this is a threat 